guys uh, wanted to get with you today and talk about an important thing. Uh, no, it's not. It's not this. It's not. It's not this crazy beard I got going on. But nevertheless, uh, I kind of do. I look more professor like, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, um, I wanted to uh, get with you today and talk a little bit about a position that we have here at Anton. It's called uh, the setter. And uh, what a setter is, is somebody that all they do is they look to set the appointment for um, someone that comes in and closes somebody to be uh, a real estate agent broker here at Anton. So the, the setter's role is very, very uh, important, number one. Uh, number two, uh, it's... it's um, it's a serious situation because uh, this is the person's first exposure to somebody from uh, Anton. So it's a, it's a pretty serious thing for us. And number three, um, it doesn't take, you know, it doesn't take rocket science, but it does take somebody that is clever, smart, um, and uh, has a purpose. I think that's the biggest thing. And that's what I want to talk about today is how to... Uh, be a good setter. What's some things that we can do? I've got some notes here. We're gonna, uh, we're going to, uh, kind of go get into this a little bit. I'm in my uh, a new makeshift office here at home, but um, so let's get let's get into this. The first it, most important thing. Uh, by the way, I'm going to share my screen. Let me get set up here officially. Uh, I am going to share my screen, and that way you can uh, see some notes along with me here. That's cool. Boom. Um, boom. Okay. So here's some notes. So uh, setter training call. We are really old school here. Setter training call. So... Um, the first and uh, foremost thing that I think is important, uh, what a setter does, a setter is going to get, uh, these names and numbers to call. And these, these numbers and names are from the state, uh, agency, it's public information. And we get those names and numbers and email addresses because we're marketing to them in another, uh, also in other ways. Um, but we also scrub that list with the national do not call list. So uh, every number that you're getting as a setter, uh, you you know don't have to worry about them being on that list. So we scrub them and then we get uh, the uh, names out to you. Now, that's not to say that somebody may not want to talk with you um, or, or doesn't want to be bothered on the phone. That could happen. Um, as a setter, you have to be aware of that. But really, the most important thing of a setter is, number one, the first four seconds of the call. That's, that's really the most important thing that you can be thinking of as a setter. What you're actually uh, doing uh, during that, that call, that first four seconds of uh, a call is really, really important. And, and really, it, it, uh, it's not what you think. I know some people are thinking, well, if you're on a call, it's what you say. Really, the first four seconds of a phone call when you're, when you're selling something is made up of three things. Tonality, and let's, let's keep with this note system here. That's cool. Boom. Oh, hold on. Let me get, punch this. There we go. Tonality. And tonality makes up about 45% of what a person um, remembers or reacts to on those first four seconds. The second one is body language. Now, I know you're like, John, you're on the phone. What, what possibly could they be seeing if you're on, unless you're on a video call like you guys are now with me? What could they possibly sing? And I'm going to talk about that in a second. And then the last thing, the last thing that is important, and this is about 10% of what people react to on a uh, first four seconds of a call are words. Your words matter. They are important. 
but they're not near as important as tonality and body language. Let me, let me kind of um, uh, give you a little bit of my thoughts with this. So with tonality here, uh, number one, the, the person that you're talking to makes a mental image of you, the caller, in those first four seconds. Science uh, has, has proven this. Uh, the first four seconds, they're making a mental image of what you look like. And it's important um, in first four seconds, sorry. And it's important that you have, uh, you must have a good positive image, a good positive image. That's the first four seconds. What are they thinking of you? What do you look like? Uh, you know, what is that image? Now, that's the first four seconds of a call. In person, it's a lot smaller window. Uh, studies have shown that they make a judgment on you in person in, you know, one-tenth of a second uh, based on what you look like. When you're on the phone with somebody, it's tonality. It's your positiveness. It's how you are uh, approaching that call. So, they go into, when they have a positive image, they go into something called reciprocal sales. This is what this is called. It's, 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 a, it's a, let me restate that, reciprocity. Um, I spelled that wrong, John. I'm not the best. Well, I, I, I'm not bad, but I'm not the best speller. Uh, they go into something called reciprocity, which means that, um, uh, if they have a positive mental image of you, they feel like they should uh, invest in some time and listen to you. I know this sounds crazy, and I'm, I'm changing my camera here just a little bit, organizing some things around here. But I know this sounds crazy, but they – hold on, John. There we go. There we go. Okay. I know this sounds crazy, but reciprocity is really, really important. When they have a positive uh, image of you, they're going to feel like they need to listen to you. They owe it to you to listen to you. This is science that says this. This isn't just me, but it's science. But isn't that interesting? When someone has a positive mental image, this rule of reciprocity comes in and the, the person that you're talking to on the phone will be like, you know what, I, I should probably give this guy some time or this woman some time on the phone to talk to me about what they are uh, saying. So I want you to realize that. And then what happens as you're talking, um, the person, actually, let me finish this. The person on the phone feels like they owe it to you to listen. And that's that's really, really important because if they're not going to listen, you're not going to get set the appointment. That's really what your job is. You're not going to set the appointment. The, the final one here is uh, what happens is tonality falls into um, uh, body language is the best way to say it. Falls into body language. And you might say, well, John, you're on the phone. How do they know what um, your body's doing? You know, if I'm like this and I'm talking to somebody in sales, it's a different thing than I'm like this, you know, and I'm, I'm geared and, and uh, tied into you. They will have a mental picture of what your body uh, language is doing by way of your tonality. So tonality falls into body language and it still makes up about 45% um, of that communication. And from that point, it's the words, you know, you just have to, you know, just to, you know, you just don't have, it, when it falls into body language, then just don't say anything that would be silly or dumb or don't say dumb shit. You know, let's keep it real here. Um, and this is easy to do. We're going to have a script for you. You're going to say, uh, basically, stick to this script. It works. It's proven it works. Uh, we've done it for a long time, and you're going to be fine. Uh, but, you know, as I first started getting into this a little bit in, in studying this, I thought, man, this isn't too much different than being in front of somebody. 
but you are going to do a little bit different. Like I think it's more important to focus on tonality here because of these things that I just mentioned than if I was um, in front of you. Um, here's the positive mental picture. Let me kind of let me kind of uh, go through that here because I think you you might be asking what does that mean, John? Um, number one. Sharp as a tack. This is what uh, you want them to think about you. Uh, you're an expert in your field. Even though you're a setter, even though you may or may not have your real estate license uh, with us, even though you may or may not have ever bought a piece of real estate as an investment, you want them to think that you're an expert in your field and you're an expert setter. So this isn't going to be hard for you. Um, to do. Uh, here's the thing. You're the best at initiating. Uh, as I was taking my notes, I'm like, what's the expertise in? Well, you're the best at initiating a meeting to help agents with their current problem. You're the best at setting that um, initial meeting. That's what you're an expert in. So if if you think about this from a, from a standpoint of what you're the expert in, you're the expert in initiating a meeting to help real estate agents help them with their problem. You may not even know what their problem is. We're going to find that out on the next segment or next series of calls. But uh, because you're the expert, this gives you uh, the right to be um, uh, ask them questions, to be talking to them. That's what this... This is the expertise in this field gives you the right to be talking to them, uh, to be talking to them. And they'll know that. They'll know that. And, and all of this is how you carry yourself. Think of when you go to the doctor. You know, when you're at the doctor and the doctor's asking you questions, they've earned the right to be asking you questions because of the schooling they have went to and had uh, the expertise that their their field is in, their experience, and the length of time they've been doing it, the certificates on the wall, they've earned that. That's how you want to be on the phone as a setter, is you want to be like the doctor. The doctor has the right to ask you questions. They've earned that. You're going to have the, the right to ask a few questions here uh, as well. I think it's really, really um, important for you to think um, about the idea of, of um, um, let me see how I should arrange this with regard to my notes, is believe you can get an appointment, believe you can get an appointment on every call. This is, this is a mental thing here. Um, if you believe it, it'll happen. You know, it's not, um, it, well, I should, let me refrain, rephrase that. If you believe it, the chances of you uh, making it happen go up dramatically. That's a better way to say that. Believe you can get an appointment on every call. What you're doing is calling these agents, and all you're doing is setting an appointment. Um, that should be your goal on every call is to uh, set the appointment. To do that, I think it's real important to be interested. Here is my spelling. Interested. See, their spell check. Look at that. Boom. No, not interest rested. Interested. Hold on. That's not even how you spell it, John. There we go. Thank God for spell check. Interested in the person you are talking to. Obviously, I know you, you don't know these people, but you want to be interested. At least seems like you're interested in uh, helping them. Um, in the person that you are talking to. Uh, when you're talking to someone, be interested, be enthusiastic about it. And remember, you're an expert in this field. So uh, it really takes um, a little bit of an effort to not act or not be an actor with this, but be genuine uh, with this, because I think it's really, really important. Uh, now watch this. This is, this is something that I think is, is also another trait, and that's called persistence. Geez, you guys are really, you guys are really going to see my spelling errors here. Persistence. Um, I took some notes. It it might actually might actually take 
five to eight times in calling someone um, to get them on the phone, to get them on the phone. Persistence is the key. You know, um, a lot of people that have success at telesales, uh, this is probably the characteristic that sticks out with them more than anything else is persistence. How many times can you call somebody uh, to get them on the phone? Because after all, in sales, all we're doing is an exchange. You are exchanging one thing for another. In this case, you're offering them a solution to their problem. You don't even know what their problem is, but all real estate agents and brokers have problems. And all we're trying to do is get them to get an appointment so we can go over that problem and give them their solution. Uh, that's what we're doing. Watch this stat. Watch this, everybody. 75% of salespeople, of salespeople, never call back more than twice. You can believe that? 75% of salespeople never call back more than twice. It may take, studies have shown, it may take five to eight times to make this happen for you guys. Five to eight times. I know uh, if you're not used to that, banging and pounding the phones, um, it's something that you may have to get used to, but that's what uh, is going to be a big factor in your success. Uh, by the way, this is just math. You know, the more you can call, the more persistent you can be with the number of calls, the better chances of success um, you will have as well. And then one last thing, texting, uh, the confirmation, and we're going to talk about that in a minute, the confirmation of the appointment during the phone call increases, increases, improves the likelihood there we go of the person showing up on the appointment or the call uh, so texting we're going to talk about that a, a little bit as well so those are those are some of my big notes again we've got a script coming to you if you haven't already seen it you may have um, just a couple of other things to think about here as the setter okay so there's nothing you can really say in that four seconds that will get uh, the three above points across you know specifically there's no word specifically it's more tonality and like we've talked about. Tonality, again, is going to become the most important thing that you can deliver as a setter uh, in your job in that first four seconds. That's going to give you the best chance of success. So think about your tone. Even think about how you're sitting uh, in your body language because tonality, like we said, falls into um, uh, body positioning or body language in the mental mind of the person that you're calling. Um, there's a sweet spot, by the way. So you're not going to go, um, you know, you're not going to go, hey, Bob, this is John from Anton Agency. That's probably too low, right? Uh, and you're probably, uh, how are you doing today, Bob? You're probably not going to do that. You're probably not going to go, hey, Bob, this is John from Anton Agency. How are you doing today? You're probably not going to do that either. So there's, there's this sweet spot, right? Kind of in uh, the middle that you want to make sure that you are focusing on. Every sentence, especially during that first initial thing with them, is going to be finished in uh, what we call uptone. And so what uptone is, is something like this. It might be saying, hey, Bob, this is John from Anton, uh, Anton Agency. How are you doing today? So at the end of that, you might say, how are you doing today? Uptone, uptone, and you've got to practice that here. so you don't sound, you know, like you're selling something right off the bat. You want to almost sound like you're a neighbor down the street. <clears throat> the, the important thing here, when you say Anton agency to a real estate agent or broker, they, they know that that sounds or that is a real estate brokerage. So they're probably going to be more receptive to you because of that if you enter uh, with that thing. But remember your uptones. Remember that. I think that's going to be um, real important. So I'm going to put that, remember your uptones. Um, 
Now that, I don't know how to spell, but we're gonna put it as two words, just because that's the way I think it rolls. Uh, so uptones are gonna be real important. Uh, next, think about rapport and the fact that you're just like them. Now, this is tough to get uh, uh, over the phone, um, but you might, and there's a, there's a sweet spot here too, right? Um, you might heard of, uh, you might have heard about Anton. We're growing significantly in Tampa. We have an office right by the airport. Uh, how long have you been in Tampa? You know, or something like that. How you know? How long have you been in the area? Kind of thing. Um, you know, and and do something there that kind of builds rapport, and then you can get into okay. Here's really what uh, the call's about, and then boom, you'll start your script. Okay, something like that. And you'll get, um, you will get used to this and you'll get comfortable at this for sure. Uh, a couple things uh, also to think about. Uh, the only thing that you're trying to sell, uh, really, because a setter is a salesperson, this is going to help you out. The only thing you, you're Trying to sell, actually, let's put that in, there we go, look at that, is the appointment. That's it. That's all you're trying to do. So you're not trying to close them on our uh, agent broker blueprint program or, you know, any of our other training programs or, or becoming a real estate agent for Anton. All you're trying to do is sell the appointment. That's it. And and that's why this steam thing is streamlined and it's, it's simple, and we got a great script. All you need to do is do that first four seconds, tonality, energy, and then boom, go into the script. And it's going to be a little practice at first, but once you get it down, it's going to be a, a pretty neat thing for you. Um, so a couple of other things. Uh, the only thing you're trying to sell is the appointment. Uh, a successful result for you would be to set an appointment. You're going to do that by way of cal Calendly to somebody. Uh, and you're going to get on their calendar appointment, schedule the appointment. And then once you did that, that's it. That's, that's the measure of success for, uh, your job. The next person gets on a phone call or a zoom call with them and closes them on one of two things, by the way, it's important that you know, this number one may or may not be, uh, coming on to Anton as a licensed real estate agent. We're in Illinois, Indiana, Florida, uh, in expanding to some other states, but uh, that would be one, and or that's the key, and or uh, getting them into our agent broker blueprint. It's really the flagship of what we do in training with our agents. And um, if they don't come on board as a real estate agent with Anton, although I don't know why they wouldn't, we've got a great program and we offer fantastic compensation, uh, but. Uh, in commissions. But uh, if, if they don't do that and they want to stay with their own brokerage, we want to get them on the agent broker blueprint training program, which again is our flagship program. It's a year long uh, kind of thing. So that's really what happens in the next phase. Um, the, the, that's it. That's what the setter does in a nutshell. I think I could go more into detail here, but in the next video or in, the, in a few moments, maybe not in the next video, uh, in this video, we are going to go through the scripting, what the script is. And I'm going to play this out with somebody from Anton. I'll play this out so you can hear this uh, as it would sound as if I was the setter and the other person on the phone is um, a, an agent that you're calling uh, for this. So that's it. That's our setter training today. This will make more sense to you as uh, we get to um, the script side of this and the training for that, which is going to be right next. So we're not ending this video. It's going to be right next. But that's the initial part of uh, the setting training. And uh, don't miss the second part of this, which is going to be uh, the script side and going through that. Cool. That's it. We will talk soon. Stay on this video if you want to see the script uh, side. Okay, guys, we got uh, Carlos here today. We uh, uh, I, I brought him onto the call, and we're going to do this setter script. And remember, it's about the first four seconds of the call and finishing 
that sentence with uh, what we call uptones in your voice. So we're just going to script this out. Uh, we're going to run through it two times. The first time he's going to go along pretty smoothly, and the second time we run through it, he's going to add a little bit of uh, a little bit of an objection. Nothing like a hard objection or anything like that, but a little bit of an objection. And uh, during the second one, what I might do is go through and call a timeout. When I call timeout, that means I'm I'm showing you guys something or teaching you something. Then we'll go time in and right back to the script just so that you got that. This may take a little bit of, of uh, a practice. And like I said, uh, with scripts, you know, the first few times, it's a little bit awkward. You're, you may crash and burn a couple of times. Uh, if you can get through that stage, you'll be much better for it. And then eventually you won't even have, you know, a script with you. You're, you're going to go off of verbatim and you'll know exactly what to do when they say certain things. So, OK, Carlos, you ready to get started? Let's do this. OK. So the phone's ringing. Boom. Hello? Hey, Carlos, it's John from Anton Agency. How are you? Hey, I'm good, John. What's going on? How are you? I'm doing really good. You got 30 seconds? Uh, yeah, I'm in the middle of something here, but sure, what's up? Great. Uh, uh, Carlos, I see from the state records that you're a licensed real estate agent in the state of Florida. Are you still licensed? Uh, yes, I am. Great. Let me ask you a question. If I could show you a way that you can make more income as a real estate agent and actually work less hours in your real estate business um, and uh, show you how our program works with that, are you, is that something you'd be open to? Um, yeah, sure. Why, why not? What's going on? And so what would happen is uh, I'd like to set up a call with our director of business development. His name's Carlos Espinel. Uh, later tomorrow, later today or tomorrow, which works better for you? Um, um, yeah, I'm a little bit short notice for today. How about tomorrow? Great. Uh, we've got one o'clock or three o'clock. What works better for you? I'll do three. Great. Let me ask you one other question. Is there anybody else that needs to be on that presentation? You know, a lot of real estate agents and brokers work together with their spouse or maybe they have a business partner. Is there someone else that needs to be on this call? Actually, I do. My, my wife does actually help me out in my business. So yeah, my wife might be a good idea to, to get her on the call. Okay. And what's her name? Her name is Francis. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to write that down. I'm actually putting this in Carlos's calendar right now that you uh, and Francis are going to be a quick 15 minute call with him. But I think you're really going to enjoy this call. And like I said, it's going to show you some ways in which you're going to be able to make more money and work less hours in your business. So I know you're going to look forward to that. One last uh, favor I'd like to ask of you. Uh, right now, as I'm putting this in Carlos's calendar, can you put this in your calendar so that we can make sure that you guys are, are both on the same page for the time at three o'clock tomorrow? Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. I got this on here. Awesome. Awesome. One last question before I let you go. And I know that you're going to, uh, you, you know, you're probably a busy guy, so I'll keep this short. Is there any reason you wouldn't be able to make that phone call tomorrow at three? Uh, actually, no, no, I think I'm pretty wide open, man. I'm, I'm at home here pretty much like everybody else. So I think I can make yeah. that work. Yeah, I can understand that. Understand that for sure. Well, great. I got it down. You got it down. Uh, I'm going to have Carlos uh, call you at three o'clock and we look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Appreciate it, John. Thank you. All right, bud. Thanks. Okay. So that's an example of how a, a call could go really, really smooth. Not too many objections. You're probably going to see that less times than, uh, you, you know, those are going to be more rare than, than the ones that uh, you're probably going to get. And the ones that you're probably going to get are going to have a little bit of objection to them. That's why it's important for you to maybe go through the Anton website, you know, why choose us as a brokerage, where we're located, you know, that type of thing, just to be ready with those answers. Um, but let's go through one now, Carlos, where uh, you give a little bit of objection, nothing strong, just a little bit uh, uh, and a little bit of where you need a little bit more clarity, perhaps. Cool. Sounds good. OK, so the phone's ringing. Boom. Hello. Hey, Carlos, this is John from Anton Agency. How are you? I'm doing good, John. What's going on? How are you? Hey, I'm doing really good. Thanks for asking, man. You got 30 seconds. Um, a little bit in the middle of something right now. What's up? I don't know that I have the time. Yeah, well, real quick, let me ask you. I see from the state records that you're a licensed real estate in Florida, in Tampa, actually. Are you still licensed? Uh, yeah, I'm still here. I'm still doing my thing. 
Well, cool. Let me ask you, if I could show you how to make more income and work less hours in your real estate business and show you exactly how our program works to help you with that, are you open to a 10-minute phone call tomorrow with our director of business uh, development, Carlos Espinel? Um, I mean, I'll tell you, John, I'm actually kind of busy. I'm really not sure that I have the time. I, I totally understand that. That's probably why you're a good real estate agent or a good business person, because, you know, when, when we're busy like that, it promotes, uh, it promotes business. So I completely understand that. The call will only take about 10 minutes, but I'm sure if you were on that call, you're going to be able to see how this can absolutely help your business, not only make more money, but save you more time in the process. You open to that? Um, sure, man. If they, we can keep it at 10 minutes. I'll, I'll see if I can pop on here in between calls. Awesome. Awesome. Does tomorrow at 10 or 1130 work better for you? Uh, let's do the earliest one because I'm going to be busy after that. So 10. Okay. Awesome. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put down in uh, Carlos's calendar to keep this uh, uh, call short uh, and brief, but uh, packed with a lot of information for you because I know you're busy. I'm going to actually write that into the notes. One other question, is there anybody else that needs to be on this phone call with you? Like a lot of real estate agents, brokers work with their spouse or they have a business partner. Is there someone else that needs uh, to be on this with you? Uh, I don't know if I can get her on. She's going to be watching my son and, you know, obviously doing some school stuff at home. And who's that? My wife. Oh, okay, cool. What's her name? Francis. Okay, cool. I will write that in. I'll pencil her in, but I'll put you in pen. Last uh, question. Well, let me ask you this. One last favor. As I'm writing this in Carlos's calendar, can you make sure that this is in yours so we're on the same page with regard to the time at three o'clock? Sure. No worries. Awesome. And one last thing. Uh, is there any reason why you wouldn't be able to make the phone call tomorrow with Carlos? Uh, no, man. We said uh, said that time. I got you in the calendar. We should be good. Awesome. Awesome. We try to fill his schedule up. And uh, when we miss a call like that, it kind of throws the schedule off a little bit. So I so appreciate that. Look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Carlos does as well. Uh, we will see you then. And until then, have a great day, man. Appreciate it, John. Bye-bye. Awesome. Boom. That's it. So you got a little bit of, of resistance there. Um and this is kind of the practice that you have. Notice the script is is pretty simple. It's 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 really not um, it's really not complex in any way. The only way that it becomes complex is when they throw you curveballs like you don't know how to answer. Like where are you calling from? You should always say, Hey, listen, uh, Anton is in Florida. We uh, have an office in Tampa. Uh, but we're also in Miami and Orlando. You, you should really know all that, but you're actually calling from Anton Agency of Florida. You can say Tampa. You actually, if they say, well, are you physically in Tampa? Don't lie. Don't mislead. Say, no, I'm calling from my, my own home uh, right now in wherever you are, you know, kind of thing. Um, and then the only other thing where I think people would have a curveball is, well, what's this, what's this call about? Like, what, are, what am I going to be talking about. And so the first thing is uh, what you're going to be talking about is our training program. And it's the best training program. I think around there's a lot to it. It's very comprehensive. Um, that's really what it's about. But you, you may run into the scenario where this agent or broker may um, uh, be incensed that you're trying to recruit them to Anton. That may be the case, you know, and just be a problem. Yes, we are a brokerage. We have that in the state of Florida uh, and in Tampa. Uh, that's not necessarily what I'm calling for. We do have people that, uh, you know, definitely are looking to change brokerages. But I kind of feel like if you wanted to change a brokerage, you probably would have done that already. Uh, and you can certainly go to our Anton website of join our crew. Uh, you know, you can even show these guys the link or, or tell them the link. If that's something that you want to do, we can talk about that too. But right now it's about improving your business and having you make more money in the next 12 months and lowering the time that's, uh, it's taking you to do that. That's really what the focus of the call is. So if you want to shorten that answer up, it's, um, uh, uh, if they say, well, what's the call about the calls about, how you make more money as a real estate agent or broker in the next 12 months and how you work less hours doing it. That's it. That's a great answer. And if they say, okay, cool. Or if they say, well, what does that mean? Does that mean training? What does that mean? Then you can go into it from there. Remember, all you're trying to do is sell them the appointment with Carlos. That's it. 
Um, that's all you're trying to do. You're not trying to sell them on Anton. You're not trying to sell them on training. You're just trying to sell the appointment. What Carlos will do is sell Anton or sell the training. Um, and there's a different script that he'll be using uh, to that, uh, to make that happen. Um, and who knows, you might even be calling someone and say, look, I'm looking to switch right now. What's, what's the deal. And if that's the case, either get into Carlos quicker, or maybe if you're more experienced, you actually, you can close them on that right there. I don't know, but, uh, that's, that's probably going to be rare as well. The second call is what you're probably going to run into more. And the main objection in this scenario is busy. I don't have the time. Busy. I don't have the time. Uh, you're, it, it, they're not going to tell you I don't have the money. They're not going to tell you anything else. They might say, well, yeah, I'm not interested. That would be another one. I'm just not interested. And they don't want to go. This is how people get away from uh, telesales by doing that. I know because that's what I do. Uh, so um, that's just be prepared for that. When they say, I don't have the time, agree with them. When they say, I'm not interested you just agree with them. This sounds so crazy, but let's, let's run through that. Let's go through those two things. So Carlos, um, you, you come back at me and say, you know what? I just really don't have the time right now. Sure. Uh, sorry, John. I just, I really don't have the time right now for this. Oh man. I totally, I totally understand that. I know you're busy. You probably got a lot of stuff going on. You, you may have a family as well. Uh, I can keep this call very short to 10 minutes, but I know it's going to absolutely change the way you do business your next 12 months. You interested in that? You open to that? I mean, yeah, that's always something good. What is it exactly? If I can keep it short to 10 minutes, I can get Carlos on the line. He can show you exactly how uh, you're going to have the ability to make more money in the next 12 months and save the time. If I keep that to 10 minutes or less, you open to that? Sure. Cool. Now notice, let me call a timeout. Notice I'm pressuring Carlos a little bit. Um, you know, good setters, good salespeople over the phone, or if you're in front of them one on one, you kind of know that magic spot to apply pressure and to, to let off. Um, in the next phase of this, when when the, the appointment is actually set with Carlos, there's a few things that Carlos is going to do to increase that 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 stress or that pressure. Um, and, uh, so this isn't on this call, you're not going to go into that much detail, but notice how I did step it up just a little bit with that. Um, let's go to, uh, I'm not interested at all. Let's go into that one, Carlos. Okay. Uh, yeah. Listen, John, I'm, I'm real busy. I'm really not interested at all in something like this right now. I totally get it. I, I, how could you be? You don't even know really what I'm talking about, but what if I can make you this promise? We can keep this to 10 minutes or less. But this is a way that you could absolutely uh, give yourself a better chance to make more money over the next 12 months and save time in doing that. Why wouldn't you be open to something like that? Is that something you could, could uh, be open to tomorrow? Uh, about how long is this exactly? I'm going to keep it to 10 minutes or less. That's all I need from you, 10 minutes or less. Okay. And if you want to go further from there, great. If you don't, I'm cool with that too. Look at what I'm doing. Time out. Look what I'm doing here. I'm cool with that too. Now you see me doing this. But as I talked about in the previous training video, my tone falls into my body language. My tone falls into my body language. Even though this person can't see you on the phone, it's your tone that carries everything because that person that you're on the phone with has a mental picture of what you look like and what you're doing. So just be aware of that. So again, his big thing is he's not interested in time. So that that uh, focus needs to be, hey, this is going to be short, but well worth it. The return on investment of spending 10 minutes, and you can even say something like this, the return on investment for spending 10 minutes with Carlos tomorrow on the phone is going to be well worth your time. So when they give you the time objection, agree, and then come right back to them with return on investment. That's a great way to say that. So, Carlos, from your end, anything else you think we need to do? No, this is perfect. This is, I think, phenomenal to work on. It's kind of it's going to be all about repetition after this uh, because you got to get comfortable being on the phone. You got to get comfortable with what maybe somebody might say. You'll hear something different almost every time at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, so I would just kind of get comfortable with that. Maybe write down a couple of notes as you're talking to them so you can kind of remember some of the things or places that you got hung up. Um, or that they gave you a certain objection. You're like, oh, let me write that objection down. I can ask John, ask Carlos, if you want to get a little bit better at that, right? And and uh, and find the way around it. 
Uh, but repetition is really where it's going to be when you're when you're on the phones. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Well, cool, man. Let's wrap this uh, side of the training part up. That's the script. Notice it's simple. The only thing you're doing is selling the appointment. Remember, tonality is so important on the phone. The first four seconds are so important to end that sentence with an up note. Hey, Carlos, this is John from Anton Agency. How are you today? You know, just an up note. Great. I'm great, John. How are you? Great. Thanks for asking. Boom. And then get right into that script. But it's all about tonality. 45% tonality, 45% body language, and 10% of the words. Now, again, you're on the phone, so they don't see your body language, but they paint a mental picture in their head of what you're doing. So really important to think about that. So that's it. Let's wrap this training up. Uh, if you have any questions, just reach out. We're here, and we will talk you guys real soon. Thanks, guys. See you guys.